Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be the continuation on my skincare routine updating saga that we're going on here. Um, so if you haven't watched my last video, I will link it down below. I go into detail about like my skin, my skin history, all the things that I bought to attempt to fix the mess that is my face. Um, but today I'm going to kind of go into detail about my experience with these items and how my skin has reacted and how I've been doing over the last month. So if you want to see my skin routine at the moment, then just keep watching. Okay, so to just get it out of the way, I'm going to start with the face mask. Um, honestly, the only one that I actually liked was the Yes2 Tomatoes Detoxing Mask. That was the only one that I rebought. It's the only one that I thought actually did anything for my skin. All the others, I just thought were crap. So, just an overall Yes2 Tomatoes was the only good one. So, moving on to the actual skincare. Um, I've been using all of the items that I am that I bought in my routine over the last month. Um, so every night or whenever I end up showering or needing to take off makeup, um, I go in with the Equate Oil-Free Daily Face Wash. This has 2% salicylic acid in it. It says it's supposed to help clear skin without drying, so that was the main reason I bought it. Um, this is okay. I don't think I'd repurchase it. I'll, I'll definitely finish it. I think it cleans my skin, but I don't know if it necessarily does anything for acne or breakouts. I don't know. I think if you don't have skin issues, it's a good just general cleanser. But if you're actually trying to take care of acne, I don't think it's really going to help you. Um, the one thing I will note about this is, holy crap, it burns so bad if you put it on like an open acne spot. Like, I don't know about y'all, but me personally, before I get in the shower, I have to like stand in front of the mirror and pick at my face. And uh, as soon as I start washing with this, they start burning. Like burning. So just something to keep in mind there. But I will definitely keep using it. I'll finish it up. I think it's okay, but um, I don't think I'll repurchase it. So after I wash my face, I go on with this. This is the Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Stress Control Triple Action Toner. This stuff is absolutely amazing. I think this is probably the only thing I can see myself repurchasing from this entire experience. This stuff is amazing. It just, I love the way it makes my skin feel. I love the like clean, nice base that I feel like it gives me. I put this on before I do my makeup. I put this on right after washing my face. I put this on in the middle of the day when I just feel like my skin needs a little extra cleanliness. I put it on all the freaking time. I'm obsessed with it. I've only used like a fifth of it. Like I've used like nothing and I've been using this every single day, multiple times a day for an entire month. So this stuff is freaking amazing. Um, I want to use it more to see if it's really helping my acne. I think it is because I really only had a few real breakouts. I, this one, big one here on my cheek came back, um, but it just, it does. I, don't, I can't get rid of it. And then I had one here on the side of my mouth here, but that was pretty much it. Like I've had a few little tiny hormonal whiteheads pop up, but nothing really major. And I really think it's because of this. I really do. Um, so on that same path, I got, I actually got a different toner. This is the Neutrogena Rapid Clear Treatment Pads. No, no. I stopped using these after a week because not only do they burn, like putting straight rubbing alcohol onto an open cut, uh, they made me break out. Like, my acne got 10 times worse. I had little dots of whiteheads and blackheads just popping up everywhere. Like, I just had so much texture. It was ridiculous. Um, and as soon as I stopped using this and started using this, it all went away within, like, three days. So, these are the devil. 
I'm throwing these out as soon as this video is over. Uh, no, not playing that game. Okay, and then the last thing from the new items um, is this Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Control Moisturizer. I don't know how to feel about this. I like it. I think it's a good basic moisturizer. Um, I don't know if it necessarily helps with acne, but I'm going to keep using it. Um, I need something a little bit more moisturizing though. If you're like me and you have dry skin, I don't think this is going to be enough for you. Um, I know that I personally have to go in with something more. This is enough for me on like a day-to-day -day basis, but like before I'm trying to do my makeup, I have to go in with something else. So I'll use the e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer, or I'll go in with the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream. This stuff is so freaking good. This, this is amazing. You really need that extra bump of hydration and moisture into your skin. This is the way to go. Um, but I do think this is good for like a day-to-day day -to -day basis. Before I do my makeup, I do put on a regular moisturizer and then I go in with like a really nice hydrating primer, um, which there are just a million different kinds out there. I'm not gonna go into those, but um, yeah. So I'd say probably the only thing I can see myself repurchasing is the toner. Um, and I have already repurchased like three different times. The Yes to Tomatoes sheet mask because that I'm just I'm obsessed with. It feels so freaking good on the skin. It feels amazing. I'm obsessed with it. It's top notch. Um, so beyond those, I just kept using my regular um, clay detoxing face mask, ones like harden and suck out all your all your impurities. Um, so that's pretty much it. Oh, I will say once a week I do go in with a scrubbing wash to really help dig out impurities and smooth out my skin and all that. So um, the Neutrogena Grapefruit Foaming Scrub is hands down my favorite. It, before I started all this, it was my daily cleanser and I do still think it's amazing. It makes my skin feel so clean and soft and just fantastic. Um, or I use the Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion Exfoliator, which I really like. Um, I love how soft it makes my skin, but it's not really a wash. It's just a exfoliator, so you have to wash in conjunction with that product. But anyways, that's basically my skincare routine. Um, I know it's pretty basic. There are definitely some products on the market now that I want to kind of work in and kind of move things around and try out some new products. I think this was a good jump start into a new skincare routine, but it is certainly not where I'm stopping. My skin is not where I want it to be. It's still, still dry and I'm still dealing with breakouts and I, I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep implementing new things and figuring out what my skin needs because my skin needs something and I'm trying, trying so hard. So, I hope you guys liked this video. I know it was kind of short, but I really don't have that much to talk about. Um, these products are good, and I think if you're really trying to stick to the drugstore, which I, I, I am, like, <laughs> we're on a budget here, um, I think these are good products, and I think the drugstore has other good products that I definitely want to test out. So, I hope you guys liked this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.